Alrighty. Just giving a quick comment in the Discord that I have started streaming again. Uh, hopefully, everything is all running smoothly. I guess I should probably open up my chat on the laptop so that I can see the comments that you guys make while I am streaming. Woot, woot. Okay. And now I have all of that going. All right, as you guys know and have heard me recently speaking, I am going to be continuing on with my Edna and Harvey stream. So I have got ice cream. I know Jaya was asking what flavor I got. I did Neapolitan and I am ready to go. Nom. It's going to be really hard to eat ice cream, I realized, at the same time with this microphone. I don't know how to eat ice cream right-handed. I really don't. It just seems wrong. Okay. Nice, simple music for this part. Tokyo says, boop, boop, right back at you. Thank you for joining. I'm glad that you're able to come this time around since I know that I've been streaming at bad times for you. Sorry about time zones. Okay. This tune sounds just the slightest bit different from We Wish You a Merry Christmas and that's slightly bothering me, but it's all great. <laughs> okay, Jaya, give me a minute. The website is being a butt. All right, no problem. I understand. Websites are good at being butts. <laughs> Your sleep habits are paying off. I don't know if, you know, that's paying off or not, but it's a good positive for us, I guess. So we'll go with it. Uh, BT Dubs, how is my volume audio mixy stuff? Because I just switched it again. So I want to make sure that everything can be heard decently. Coffee, coffee, heavenly brew. You lift my morning spirits anew. Are we going to be rhyming in this room? Coffee, coffee, he you Coffee, black. Computer, last. The replicator is on the fritz again. <laughs> no filter. And more importantly, no coffee. Like I coffee might machine. be a klepto, but stealing someone's coffee machine is pure barbarism. <laughs> nice to know you have your, you know, morality and order right there, Edna. I suppose I could get the um, paper cup again and fill it with the coffee machine or something. Harvey doesn't need any coffee. He's completely wound up as it is. Nickety bickety, nickety bickety, nickety bickety, nickety bickety. Cuckoo! Okay, it's a little hard for you to judge because the sound of it sounds a little quiet, but that may be your end. I think it might be a little quiet on my end as well, so. But my mic audio is as high as it goes. I can pull up the desktop audio a little bit. I will just trust um, it to slightly cooperate. Otherwise, I'll have to do really weird um, stuff with my sound system. Open volume mixer. Sound settings. Yeah, I don't know if I trust. Um, if it is you, don't worry about it. I'm used to working around it. I mean, I still feel bad if I end up um, being really quiet. Um, I 
can do one quick thing. Recording the desktop microphone. Um, says the levels are all the way up there. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Oh, hello, Tyrion. Hello, hello. What is up, you fellow fucker? Um, and Jaya, it is um, Neapolitan. Okay, so Tokyo, yeah, you can hear me and that's what matters. That is fair. That is fair. I can always um, keep on troubleshooting later because I've had issues with um, OBS wanting to get my audio quieter than I really want it to. Um, but I can just yell at it later. If you all can hear me, that is what's important. So, okay. Bubblegum dispenser. Ooh, look, Harvey! Chewing gum! She's so excited. Ooh, look! Uh, um, Tyr, you're still at work? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was guessing so, but... Man, you've been having a lot of late nights recently. What is up with that dude? Yippee! It still works! Hey, I got bubblegum! Blah! Old and inedible! <laughs> hey, we got a custom animation for her shoot spitting it out. That's fun. I'm gonna do that Yippee! again. I s yeah. It still works! Blah! Old and inedible! Okay. Do you have any gum for me? I wouldn't be much of a gum dispenser if I didn't. Look who's on the dartboard. That's pretty good. <laughs> Use the gum as a weapon, Edna. Oh my gosh. That would... Yep. I'm imagining Rufus using, using like gum as ammo for something. That's totally something that he would do. Splishy Woodruff, two in one power gel. Man, the way that the, you know, th all the items are described and how the characters interact with the objects, you can totally tell it's Pokey. He's the same person. You can there tell. are less subtle ways of telling me that I've got a dirty mouth. It's not just. Yeah, gumballs can be used like marbles to trip up people. Yeah, I mean, the tripping up is pretty common to do that. There are less subtle ways. Okay, pick up. Mmm, splishy. Use. Mmm, splishy. I guess I should be looking at what things I can combine with instead of just looking at the individual components. Oh well. I'm exploring right now, y'alls. There's a picture of Dr. Marcel pinned in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> Splonge is a good word. It's attached to the wall. Doesn't matter. It's useless without darts anyway. I want to throw things at the dartboard Bullseye. now. Bullseye! Same to you, mate. Use dart there board. are no darts. There are no darts, but I have like a broken chair leg. Just stabbing him with the broken chair leg count? <laughs> Can I be that vicious? <laughs> Oh, look, I can't! Bullseye! Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! And I even got an animation for it. That's slightly disturbing, but who freaking cares? Hmm, I think I have a triple 20, triple 12, bullseye, and then a couple of other... Wow! That's over a thousand points! Throw toenails in his face? Why not? <laughs> Use toenail with dartboard. Nope, that doesn't do anything. That's sad. I wish I could chuck toenails at him now. You have given me a mighty need now, and this is unfulfilled. I am sad now. Okay, so there's... <laughs> Edna's good at this game. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Or she's rigging it. Oh, cabinet door. What's at the cabinet door? A plywood board hanging on hinges is blocking my view. How dare it. No 
no, 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 no. I pushed the pickup. It is tightly hinged. I wanted a toenail face, too. Like, come on, just chucking out toenails at people? Like, that's... Yeah. Yeah, I know we need to keep the toenails a lockpick and stuff. But it's more fun to be weird. How do you figure her? Well, open, close, the whole day long, and nothing in between. No shades of gray. So consider this conversation closed. Ha 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 ha, pun. There we go. Lots of shit in here. That's the one thing I like about Deponia is uh, the stuff that I can check out is a lot more limited because this is just a lot of stuff. I can't stand on the chair. Okay, look at marmalade. Ugh, dried rhubarb compote. Looks like it's dried stuck to the cupboard. Rhubarb, 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 rhubarb. See, I see the word rhubarb, and all I can think of is Mama's little, Mama's little baby loves rhubarb, 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 rhubarb pie. I did not try to sing with that very well. Use what marmalade. for? To seal leaks in ship's hulls? Okay, look at the chlorine flakes. Chocolate chunks. Ingredients: <laughs> industrial foam and sugar. It says there's a surprise in the box. Sounds like I need that surprise. Crunch, munch, crunch, crunch? Crunch, munchily crunch. Munch, punch, brunch, wrench, lunch, hunch, punch. Okay, use cornflakes. Hopefully that means I'll get to see what the prize is. Give me a prize! Hey, there was a surprise in there. It's a brand spanking new authentic police badge with small parts that could be swallowed. Cool. I bet only the toughest cops get the small parts that could be swallowed. Alright, so now I have a fake police badge. That that seems like that'll be used in some sort of charade. Okay, now I just have this cereal over here to look Vitamino. At. Contains the best ingredients from three hand-picked rabbit hutches. What? <laughs> no, thank you. That sounds too healthy for me. If she doesn't like rhubarb, I am terribly sad. Rhubarb is absolutely wonderful. Hello, granola. Hello. A whole alphabet full of vitamins. And still at a loss for words. No, thank you. That sounds too healthy for me. Good job, Edna. All right. So eventually I need to use, honestly, probably all three of these things for something. But I can't think of for what yet. I'm just going to keep on exploring so that I have my bearings of what all I can use and can't use here. So let's go out the door and see what else I need to do screw around with. Okay. Can I go around? This is the bathroom again. Did I do everything in the bathroom that I could? That was loud. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. Okay. So there is the restroom. Window. Look at window. Ah, <sighs> freedom. No, that would cast an unfavorable light on me. Wordplay again. How's the family? Is Mrs. Window well? Thanks for asking, but Mrs. Window and I are separated now. Oh my, how come? Don't ask, don't ask. Her attitude is completely unclear to me. It's locked. Unless I smash it open. Lame. Darn it. Darn it. Would have loved to be able to smash it. 
Yeah, Jai, I just tested the mallet on the window and unfortunately I can't like smash it open. Isn't that sad? I want to smash things. Okay, I can walk two down. So I've been up, I've been down. Let's actually just make sure I have the water cup on me because you know, it doesn't hurt to have another water cup. Um, Tokyo, I wonder if in the past she's talked to a lot of these objects and built relationships with them. I mean, that'd be interesting. One of the things that I notice about Edna is that her her sense of humor is that spontaneity of, you know, just treating those things like that. And um, just whatever pops into her head, she just goes with it. Um, this one is as soaked and filthy as the last one. And I bet it's just as useless, too. All right, well, I got the useless water cup. I could try using the useless water cup on the coffee machine. I'm guessing that's not going to do anything. But you know what? What the hell? While I'm thinking about it. Okay, Fury Snipe Fury peeks in just to lurk. Hey, thank you for lurking. I am so happy for you to lurk while we lurk around the entire house that Edna is in. <laughs> Yeah, Tokyo, yeah, it's why I love her. Yeah, she's interesting. Like, I appreciate her sense of humor. It's very youthful and our generation, let's be real. Um... Can't do that. The coffee oh, right, pot the coffee is empty. Pot's empty. I'm, I'm a brilliant human being who forgot that. What if I... Uh, no, that's not worth it. She's a master of improv. Yeah, that's that's a way to put it. She just improvises on everything. And then, of course, Harvey improvs back. Oh, Jai, yeah, doubtful since she's been locked up for a while. I mean, the interesting thing about her being locked up is we know that there's been things going on. She just doesn't remember. Shit. And, oh, yeah, she's got some May in her. Yeah, May has... May is interesting. I feel like May is a whole lot more, like... May's got that sarcastic sense of humor that's so millennial. Like, it's so screamingly millennial that I love it. Um, and, like, it's just this, like those dry tones that May does and so forth in Night in the Woods. Whereas Edna, it's a little bit, you know, she intentionally does stuff that's, like, improv-y but off-kilter. Like, you know, it's everyday situations that she talks things about. Like, oh, I'm going to talk to the window. You know, how's your wife doing? It's just... But it's not the sort of things that you would usually do with the window. HC, hello, good morning to you. Since I, yeah, it's going to be morning for you. Just thinking about the time. Like, oh, right, yeah, it's my night. It's your morning. Thank you so much for hopping in. It's, I'm happy that um, you're able to catch me for a little bit. I am currently exploring. All right, there's a lock. Please, toenail, do the trick. Yeah, dang it. If only I had longer toenails. But I'm such a silly dilly. I always gnaw them down. S I want... Uh, man, you must be really flexible. Talk to the window here. Yep. Look at... I cannot talk to this window, which is sad, because I've been talking to all the windows, and all the windows have different things to tell me. All right, so 7.35 a.m. for HC. It's um, 5.30 for Tokyo. Giant, you're like, what, 12.30? Fury and I are in the same time zone. Stuff. Ooh, HC, I hope you got some sleep in there. I wonder what Dr. Marcel is hiding in there. Open sesame! Hmm, no reaction. Must have been the wrong incantation. If only it was that easy. <laughs> this window has bars isn't unsociable. I guess so. It's locked. Ugh, locked again. A toenail. Ooh. Please. This door doesn't have any obvious screws that need loosening. And it doesn't have to be toenailed either. Hmm, darn. Yeah, I suppose seven hours isn't too bad for a sleep schedule. Oh, there's a dude. Bruce Broker. And there's another lock.
He's on the phone. Okay. No, he might misinterpret that. Hello? Hello? Hmm. No reaction. No, he might misinterpret that. Can I, like, throw something at him? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hmm. No reaction. I guess it must be an important call. I don't know what he's calling about. I don't know anything about this dude. Maybe we'll learn things about this dude. I assume we're gonna learn things about this dude because there aren't many dudes that we've met in this game so far. Okay. Oh, I can keep on going down? Man, there's a lot of floors to this place. So much exploring. These chairs create spinal irregularities. And because they don't sell very well, they are frequently used in doctors' waiting rooms and public facilities. <laughs> I'd have taken it if it was done in lilac. But this, nah. There she goes. Also, her excuses are pretty great. Okay, HC, question is the phone cable ripped? What does it connect to? I need answers. It's just, it's magically, the, the wire is just right behind the phone and just goes, extends right back so you can't see it from the perfect camera angle. That's what it is. Are you resting quite I comfortably? No answer is an answer too, you know. The, yeah, those bars are wide, but I didn't. This isn't the time or place to take a break. Okay, so there's a lounge. Walk to hallway, walk to door, plant, door. Man, there's so many things. There's so many things. Okay. I'm going back and I'm exploring around here first and then I'll go down that hallway again. My goodness. They just let me loose and look at everything all at once uh oh oh crap hey it's prohibited to pass through here crap um my, my police badge would come in handy right now <laughs> gaster sounds good job furious <laughs> Yeah, Tokyo, there's so much to see and do here. It's almost overwhelming. I'm like, ah, there's so many screens I can do things with. I've got a special permit. Always the same witty remarks, Miss Edna. Maybe the doctor should be less thorough when erasing your memory. That's you always come up with the same old tricks. What else you got for me? You're just visiting? You're the newbie? Or no, wait. You're not really even there, right? Um. I'm really fed up with you. Alarm! Patient on the run! What's going on? What do you think? There's a patient on the run! Where are all the others? Aren't Babbitt and Holger around? Isn't that something you should know? I've been sitting here all day. I don't know what else is going on. But obviously, the whole building is in chaos since the doctor went out. It's just, uh, I've never dealt with an attempted escape before. <sighs> all right. All right, I'll just put her in here with the others. That must be what I'm supposed to do. There, you stay here till the doctor is back. Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna do that. Something seems to have gone patently wrong here. All right, well, I've progressed in a way I did not expect to progress, but I guess that's what happens when you're wandering out loose in the middle of an asylum where you're not supposed to be wandering around loose. <laughs> More snippets indeed. Um, HC, is her expression reminding anyone else of Rufus? There's lots of things about her that remind me subtly of Rufus. They're very different personalities, but there are definitely some similarities. Um, lots of her excuses are similar. She even has some of the same ones or same sorts of quips. Um, no, there, there's definitely similarities. Okay. This 
is much nicer than her cell in D. Draw- Ah! Droggle Jug! Droggle Jug! Droggle Jug! Droggle Jug! Droggle Jug! Yes! Finally! Finally! I get the explanation for Droggle Jug! Droggle Jug! Droggle Jug! Yes! Okay, um... Droggle Jug. Okay, Droggle Jug. Explanation for... Droggle Jug, um, since I don't think that everybody here knows why I'm freaking out and cracking the fuck up right now. Okay, um, da -da 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 -da. so there is a special mode in Deponia. I have completed it because I wanted to get all the achievements, and it is the Droggle Jug mode. In this mode, you have to play the entire first game of Deponia, but every single character's lines have been replaced with just the words Droggle Jug. And all of the text, you know, for indicating items and all of the um, possible dialogue options are just Droggle Jug. And so you have to go through the entire game seeing, reading, and hearing nothing but fucking Droggle Jug. And it took me about an hour and 15 minutes to do it because I know the game well enough. And it was really only going through the maze of dialogue options where I forgot what order the dialogue was supposed to happen in that tripped me up. I also was slower, and the reason why I was an hour 15 was also because I wanted to watch some of the cutscenes where they were just saying fucking Droggle Jug back and forth at each other, and it was so ridiculous. What I love the most is that Pokey actually recorded the Huzzah song singing the word Droggle Jug. It is the best thing ever. So, um, I knew that Droggle Jug was a reference to something in Edna and Harvey, but I did not know what. So I finally get to have the explanation for what the bloody fuck Droggle Jug is. So I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> now I'm getting to see what people have said while I've been venting about Droggle Jug. Okay, um, Curious Night Fury, this woman looks like in a constant state of about to lose it and strangle someone. She really does, and that's why I love her expression. Look at how cute Edna is, even if it's like a little creepy bit of cute. Um, Tokyo is just saying Droggle Jug. <laughs> we lost Haddock, guys. Thanks, HZ. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I could just stream and say Droggle Jug. I could turn this into a Droggle Jug thing right here and just say nothing but Droggle Jug, but I won't be that obnoxious. Um, rest in peace, Haddock. And there's an F. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Droggle Jug. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at that. There's Droggle Jug. I finally get an explanation for fucking Droggle Jug. I have to do this right now. Look at Droggle Jug. Oh, what a man. I wonder if he has a girlfriend. Pick up Droggle Jug. I'm too shy for that. Use Droggle Jug. I'm too shy for that. Okay, talk to Druggle Jug. Hello. Druggle Jug. Is that your name? Druggle Jug. Am I not allowed in there? Druggle Jug. But I need to be granted an audience with the king. Druggle Jug. Too bad. <sighs> what a guy. If only I could impress him somehow. Oh my gosh. I, I was totally expecting this guy to say nothing but Droggle Jug, and I was not disappointed, y'all. I got exactly what I hoped for. <laughs> okay, so Tokyo says, do a Droggle Jug playthrough of Deponia. And Jazz like, no! Um, and all your commentary is Droggle Jug. Okay, Tokyo, you know, I don't know how much in jest you are saying that about the Droggle Jug, like me playing... Deponia Droggle Jug and all of my comments are Droggle Jug, but I 100% seriously would actually fucking do that. I would actually stream Droggle Jug with me saying nothing but Droggle Jug the entire way through. I could do it. And you guys, you guys, like, I would actually fucking do that. You, you be careful. I would actually do that. Um, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm just getting a bunch of worried eyes from Fury. <laughs> um, Tokyo, best character. I mean, you, you have to appreciate someone who says the most meaningful words ever. Droggle Jug, you know. Pure poetry. <laughs> I fucking love you guys so much. Look at this. Okay, um, Tokyo, I will watch it all if you do, even if my brain melts. And to um, Tyrannia says, do it, you fucker, prove it. How late do you guys want to stay up tonight? Because I could do an hour of Edna and Harvey, 
my usual hour long, um, whatchamacallit with Edna and Harvey. And then if you want me to do fucking Droggle Jug afterwards, I mean, since I won't be skipping all the dialogue, it might take a little bit longer. Let's say it's gonna be about an hour 30. And you guys can have all of your fucking brains melt while we just say fucking Droggle Jug. <laughs> and try that with your hands are like, no! <laughs> Struggle jug. <laughs> I have limits. <laughs> Aw. I wonder if Harvey's gonna say struggle jug with struggle jug. Isn't struggle jug a fine specimen? Hmm. I'll admit that I'm a bit jealous. Wow. If I show struggle jug different things, will he just tell me struggle jug? I could never harm him. Badge. Hold it. Paraonithological branch of the FBI Special Squad. Sergeant Edna. Druggle Jug? Of course I can show you identification. Druggle Jug. You bet. Can I have access to the king now? Druggle Jug. Cool. I mean, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at everybody. Okay, um... <laughs> Turnia, tonight, maybe not. I have work tomorrow. Also, Arjun, weren't you just telling me to take care of myself? <laughs> Uh-oh, we're getting into the caps lock combos. Um, this has made me not want to sleep for another five hours. Okay, Tokyo, we are terrible influences on each other's sleep schedules. Because there's definitely been times where I've stayed up an extra five hours because I've been like, oh, I'm talking to Ponyo with you! And that ends up resulting in none of us <laughs> ever sleeping. <coughs> Any Deponia, including Droggle Jug Deponia. I would totally love to get an autograph. Droggle Jug. All right, but I'll get back to you on this. Wow, wow. Comic book. I've got a present for you. It is Captain Useless and the Quiche of Death. It's a limited first issue. Droggle Jug. I see. Droggle Jug. In that short period of time? Droggle Jug. Wow. I should have known this wouldn't impress him. I like how she just completely continues her conversation with him as he just says fucking Druggle Jug. <laughs> Tokyo Druggle Jug is important to Ponya lore. <laughs> Beautiful. This is a water cup, not a Druggle Jug. A Druggle jug so what's a droggle if i need a droggle with a jug <laughs> okay bye hc thank you so much for coming um have a wonderful day you know if you pop by later of course i'm always excited to have you back um in the meantime have an awesome whole day of doom yes that's correct nothing will stop us droggle jug droggle jug <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nobody can stop me. Tarunia's right. Nothing, nobody can stop me. Absolutely nobody. And I go walk to the residence. Inside the residence of Doom. Well, well, well. My scouts reported that you'd be coming. A new power, they said, A is on the power? rise in the oh eastern gosh. realm of the recreation room. What are you talking about? So... You managed to overcome my god. <laughs> Poor, devoted Droggle Jog. I will avenge him with your blood. What? I love how Edna's sitting, by the way. She, I love the cross me. She looks adorable like that. My hand is weak, for the weight of a sword is far too much for me to bear. I like all Have these Have I been temple already. morphed into the wrong game? Before you usurp nice to to what my to people, dynasty honestly, has achieved through the years, my castle, my throne, and my gold medal the jigsaw. from the okay, jigsaw that, puzzle contest, you will have to defeat me in a mental yep, duel. Yep, there we go. Are you prepared for the challenge? Claro que sí. Siempre estoy ready. Okay, um... Okay. Da, 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 da. Droggle jug, I am Groot. Droggle jug, I am Groot. Thank you, AC. <laughs> okay. Um. 
Okay, um... Da -da 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 -da. So, okay. You've only realized that this guy looks a lot like someone you used to work with. I'm assuming the king with the hat. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And hey, hey, how dare you, um, Tyronia, say that um, other people are more susceptible to logic and reason? Because I have a philosophy degree. I am logic and reason. I have a degree in logic and reason. No one can beat me in logic and reason. But that's exactly why logic and reason don't work on me, I guess, is because I have the superior logic and reason, always. <laughs> oh my gosh, Furious Night Furious is droggle jugging. <laughs> closet cosplay, no, no, no closet cosplay stuff. Leave, leave Tyrunia, leave now and never come back. Which, which closet cosplay, droggle jug guy or king guy? <laughs> that <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get to the eye ready soon, but I want to go through the other dialogue options first. I don't want your stupid throne. If this is meant to be a trick, I have to warn you. I have psychic abilities. Is that so? You'd better believe it. Ask me a question. Okay, those are questions. Oh my gosh, these are such Edna questions with the usual amount of quirky creativity that she has in her conversations. I love Edna's little tangents and random spontaneity stuff. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, I'm being compared to Rufus. <laughs> Rufus? <gasps> Did you just pun my name with Rufus and Fish? Rufus, Rufus, Rufus. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this word already. Rufus, I'm Rufus. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing. I love you guys so much. And uh, this is why everyone hates moral philosophy professors. <laughs> I think everyone just hates to talk to philosophy people. Philosophy majors are their own breed of stubborn ass hats with a stick up their butt. Every single one of them. It's a very unique brand of human being, and yet they're 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 interesting to talk to anyway. Okay, da -da 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 -da. quickly coming up with the chat, and then I'll continue on with this. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. oh right, I was going to say before I forget, one of the reasons why it's so refreshing for Edna to balance off with other people is number one, she has a very unique sense of humor and thought processes, which are very fun. Um, but it's more interesting when she's talking with other people than just herself and Harvey. And the fact that we've been playing this game so long with just her and very few human interactions, it makes it fun that we're being tossed into this room with so many other human beings, all with their own unique personality quirks as well. And so you just see this whole bunch of unique thought processes bouncing one off another. And this finally gives Edna a little bit more energy to be with. It is um, by herself, you don't, you can only get a limited amount of energy because she's by herself. But once you put her against other human beings, that's where the interactions and connections and weird bounce-offs can happen. And so this is very rewarding to me as a player in the fact that I'm able to actually be with other humans and see what other human personalities are like and see how Edna responds to different personality types. So this is very rewarding and a lot more fun to me than just running by myself. Will I ever get out of here? Hmm. Uncertain your future is. Thanks, Yoda. A long way have you still yet to go. Yeah, thank you, Pain. Yoda. Oh, my fucking And hell. grief, I see. And, oops, what's that now? <laughs> I see a lawsuit for copyright infringement. Yoda! Princess Tokyo says I want this guy's castle. I honestly do too. I look at this and I'm like, this would be legitimately fun to be in. We're taking the castle and then we're partying in it and watching a movie together. What will the coin show next? <laughs> oh, nice try. Who will be the next Pope? I see what you're driving at. And no, it won't be you. Dang, I shouldn't have sworn so much. Will humans land on Mars? That's a clear... Don't get me venting no. about Mars and humans. What? Just no. 
don't get exactly. me venting. I have feels about humans no. in space travel and Mars. I have so many feelings that I'm trying not to vent about them right now because this is a video game stream and not a rant about how we should already be on fucking Mars right now. Okay, Furious is going. That's all right. Okay, thank you so much for hopping in. I know it's getting late for you, so good night, Fury. It was really fun having you around. Boy. Okay, where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? At the bottom of a well. The police will recover his body in just a few days. Oh no. Poor I should fella. have expected something like that. <laughs> That's terrible. I mean, in the third Deponio game, they said that Luigi was what dead too from the Mario Brothers. That was funny and terrible. When will this conversation finally be over? Very, very soon. Don't you want to defeat me before it ends? <gasps> Kitty is giving hug. Kitty. A golden medal? Genuine gold? Of course. And that's not all. Why? What else? Um. Well, all right. Just genuine gold. Nothing else. What were you expecting? Referring back to your abilities. When will this come? Okay, I Very did that. I did that. Let's do I am ready. Play the game, says Jaya, and I will. I'm going to lose because it's first time through. But let's just see what this is all about so I know what the hell to start thinking about and preparing for and puzzle-fying away. I am ready. So be it. This is definitely one of my favorite screens, though. Begin. It's a good, good color palette. There's no turning back now. And it's just, all or nothing. A pillow for it. Victory or defeat. Victory or death. Glory saw. or shame. Fish or cut bait. You know how to create suspense. I will ask you a question, and you shall give me the answer or. Perish! All right, all right. That Just ask the question. Python in well, the then. The question is... Heads or tails? That's all? Heads or tails? That's the duel <laughs> for the royal throne? Heads or <laughs> That's tails? Good. I appreciate that. It's fucking heads or tails. That is so good. I wasn't expecting it to be this complicated thing, too, and it's fucking heads or tails. A game of chance. Oh, my fucking four. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a lot more complicated than the game is having belief. And if I choose heads, it will always be tails. And if I choose tails, it will always be heads. I'll bet anything. It's something... Something like that, and we'll have to figure out how to get around this. But let's just see what the hell happens. Heads. Tails. Have you had enough? I want to try once more. We're just so gonna keep on flipping it. that fucking coin Heads for a little bit. Or tails. Heads. Tails. Have you had enough? I want to try once more. So be it. Heads or tails. Tails. Heads, have you had enough? Yep, just as I thought, I'm always losing. I totally, totally predicted this. We cannot have something happen this easily. Pokey is always gonna make us think a lot fucking harder than we should over something that should be fucking simple. Alrighty, so that will be interesting. So now we have to figure out how to um, cheat the system, I assume. Random thought, this has been on my head ever since I entered this room. It's interesting that this music is the intro music. So, you know, when Edna was imagining herself as a giant sea beast attacking a ship, that was the same music as now, and I I can see the connection. Why must I always lose? Same sort of creative Do not people. blame yourself. There was a time when I too had to endure the same misfortunes oh, as well. you. I tell nary a lie. I was a regular misadventurer, but then I went out for a walk one night on the roof of the tower 
There was a thunderstorm brewing. I opened my umbrella as a precaution, and my feet were immersed in buckets of water. I was not expecting this story when to go I this noticed direction. that the TV antenna, TV antenna. was crooked. Immediately, I took it upon myself to this rectify the problem. What I remember next is seeing a dazzling flash of light. What exactly it was, I cannot I fathom. Need to fix the antenna but thingy. after that incident, I've never been off the mark again. If I have to fucking zap this guy with the antenna or something really weird, then I'm gonna be very grumpy. Well, Bye. I'll be gone then. Cheerio! Alright. So there's that. I can't do anything with the puzzle pieces over there. Um, there's the sofa, and there's... Oh, I can go past that way to the telephone, and then there's a shelf. Alright, let's go to the shelf. Because why the hell not? Walk to the... Look at the shelf. Because I like shelves, and I like things that Catch the shelves. frog. Certainly not. It's alright that people think I'm crazy, but these games are for complete morons. Okay. Talk to shelf. I suspect it was Dr. Marcel in the laundry lift with the mallet. Ha ha ha. I simply hate board games. And this is the stupidest collection I've ever seen. No offense to people, but I'm not a board game person either. I feel like I'm just... I need to be doing something and I feel so edgy and just I'm like I need to do something I need to do something and so board games I, I just rather talk directly with people and you know or be more immersive like video games I guess that's completely different for me but I, I board games I cannot play board games with people what do you make of this Harvey Ew, yeah I'll board talk to the person in the back soon yeah, definitely, Jaya. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, got quite a bit to do. All the cushions and covers are missing. Because they're in there. Too late. Obviously, someone has already pilfered the cushions. I mean, to be fair, that's not a bad ch life choice, is to pilfer the cushions. Hush, little Edna, don't say a word. I'm getting awfully tired all of a sudden. Darn, I was hoping for a stupid rhyme at the end. I can relax later. Okay. Look, Harvey, a sofa. How sad. Will you promise me one thing, Edna? Yes? Don't send me to the upholsterer if I ever run out of cotton balls. You'll never run out of cotton balls. <laughs> Pokey just likes hitting people with lightning, huh? I guess so. I mean, Rufus and Gull have gotten hit by lightning. And then this guy got hit by lightning too, so that's at least three people. I mean, I guess, you know, that's not a terrible count. Because, you know, Rufus doesn't really count because everything bad has happened to him. I'm sorry, Rufus, you don't count. <laughs> There's an old man with an aluminum cape standing at the window. He looks quite heavy. Hello. Hello, young lady. Wait. Stay there. There's no doubt. You're different from the others. Your aura is highly energetic. Every single person is not you? what I expected, and it's fun. Where do you come from? Because I was not expecting any of this. Every single time that I went up to a person to talk to them, well, except for Droggle Jug, because I got that spoiled ahead of time, sort of. But, like, I am not expecting any of these people that I come up to them and there's some bizarre personality and it's just great <laughs> Tokyo oh dang I forgot Rufus the obvious one yep because the whole reason that we had to get goal hit by a lightning was because fucking Rufus misdirected his lightning onto her I am so sorry goal I am so sorry goal I am so sorry Tokyo, yeah, the characters in this are so fun. Yeah, I I love the... There's some writers who know how to make personalities just sort of vibrant and have 
a very unique quality to them instead of the generic palette. And I feel like I get that here between like Deponia and Edna and Harvey. Um, Night of the Rabbit, there's a little bit of that sense of cute quirk, although it's a lot more straightforward, but there's definitely some interesting personalities that you get. So, D um, Dedalic Entertainment is, just has this nice, um, it, it does a good job with personality vibes of all the NPCs. You know, another example I can think of stories that just get all the, you know, minor characters right as well and makes it so fun is something like Atla. Um, Avatar, they, they have so much fun with their minor characters too. And even Vol oh, Voltron, VLD has such great background characters. And I always love when you just, every single character just sparks, whether they're a big character or a small character, it just makes it so much more fun and interesting. I'm Edna. It's not important where I come from. The important thing Yay, is, I want to get out of here. Yes. Your impulse for freedom is very strong. There's another strong. comparison to Rufus. Your chi doesn't only flow, it gushes. You have been reprimanded far too often. You have been hindered far too long. The levees are about to break. The volcano is about to erupt. Wow, those are good guesses. What brings you here, Edna? That's interesting. Also, I must say, I know that in my past streams, I've been talking about how this game, you know, wow, you know, uh, Dedalic has really, you know, gotten a lot better even by the time of Deponia. It is something that, of course, you do have to talk about the difference, is the time constraints on this are going to have been huge. You know, a university project, you have very few people, you have basically no budget. Um, you have to crank this out and fast. And of course, it's not going to be the same caliber as something that you hired, you know, more animators and did a lot more concept and time and so forth as you got with Deponia. So like, you know, you all have to look at Enda and Harvey from the perspective of what it is versus what time and development they had later. Is, you know, it's not just that Dedalic has grown and you can tell that they've grown. Even just watching the first Deponia to the last Deponia, you can see how they grew in their learning curves. But at the same time, you also just have to give context of, well, Edna and Harvey has a very different context for how it got made. And so you really have to appreciate it in its context. And, you know, you can't really be like, oh, you know, the art's not perfect. Because it's like, well, of course it's not. You, you know, it's a completely different context. It's a completely different way in which it was made. I want to make that very clear because I know in the past I have, you know, compared it as though it were a bad thing or a lesser thing, but it, I really shouldn't be making it sound like that. I have no intent because, you know, obviously there's a lot of value in this game. We still get it sold. We still remember it. Edna is still one of the main characters that Dedalic is known for. Edna and Harvey was successful enough to get a sequel. Like, this is not a bad game. It's just created with a very different context. Okay, um... And Tokyo, the imperfections in this are part of what make it wonderful. It has a it has a character to it. The entire game has a character to it. And like I do like Pokey's art style. Um, I imagine that with you know more time he could have done even more. Because um, I do love the big eyes sort of style that goes on in here. Who are you? My name ceased to be of importance long ago. The moment I inherited the wisdom of the cosmos, I decided to abandon all ties to my former existence. I am known as the Aluman now. You loonies love to refer to yourselves only by your characteristics, don't you? It's just easier to memorize. What is it exactly that you're doing here? I'm checking the flow of the chi for holes. Why are you doing that? Well, somebody has to do it. You can't just walk about with holes in your chi now, can you? The whole yin might be flooded by yang, and you can kiss the feng shui goodbye. All right. Furious? <laughs> you're, you're having fun in there, aren't you? I got confused because you started talking about breakfast. I'm like, but it's 11.15. Why are you dressed that way? The aluminum yeah. enhances my astral conductivity. Conductivity. This way, I'm always in touch with the essential. Can I lighten you? And the A on your chest? That is not an A. It is the Earth Moon. 
It connects me with Gaia, the Earth Goddess. And the diving goggles? It protects me from chlorine. What did you think? Who lives in the Cushion Castle? That would be King Adrian. That's almost Quite Aradon. An interesting case. That's almost my Tokyo friend. He got friend. struck by lightning and developed certain abilities after that. In fact, his case supports some of my theories. All right, what are these theories? <laughs> you confused the fish. <laughs> I suppose you did. What exactly are those theories? I have developed a couple of theories regarding I'm Adrian's just going to keep on case. reading Adrian wrong. After I lightning am. struck him, he suddenly had psychic abilities. I don't know exactly how to name my theory. I'm considering psychokinetic conductivity through electric currents, electrostatic psi extension, high voltage <laughs> precognition. I like that one. Or just Fortune doesn't always favor fools. Amazing. <laughs> Tokyo, I guess I'm happy being Buckethead Fort guy. Hey, it means that you're royalty and we're both royalty, right? Although, I guess you are also Princess Tokyo, aren't you? You're always royalty, whatever the position. And <laughs> I won't be alone in misreading Adrian anymore. High five. <laughs> what abilities are those? He sees things before they happen. Wow. No wonder he's your king. He must be very powerful then. Indeed he is. He always wins at Chinese checkers that way. Yeah, yeah. But in addition to that... And at Scrabble. But the possibilities... You said it. The recreation room is full of board games. The guy just uses his games. abilities to win at fucking and board Adrian games. And Adrian wins them all. That's what he, he's your he power He even score. won the jigsaw puzzle contest. Fucking The prize puzzles. was a medal of real just gold. Just fucking puzzles. This is as bad as McChronicle only using his time machine to park a car. <laughs> Alright, and of course we are both always royalty. Indeed. I will, I will be a king forever and forevermore. Why do you call him King? Well, I don't want your dang that was the I'm wager in a game of Yahtzee. We were naive enough to think we could beat him. B-Man had worked out a strategy. The ticket inspector developed a fail-safe system. Professor Nock supplied us with the medication. He had scraped together everything he could get his hands on for one whole year, just for the occasion. Petra even designed a special choreography for us to follow. Alas, it was to no avail. Well, we could have done worse. Imagine if Petra had won. Pilates every morning. No, I need to meet Petra. Ugh. Both melons and lemons taste good. I'll just weigh in on that debate that's going on in the chat. Both. Just both. We could make a lemon melon lemonade. Melon lemon lemonade? Melon lemonade. Lemon melonade. Le melon lemonade? Melonade. Melon lemonade? <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Melanemonade. Okay, I, I'm getting too too caught up into trying to combine these two words. <laughs> Three words. <laughs> I think I broke a long time ago. I think um, because it's getting slightly late, my energy has peaked. So I'm probably a little bit right now. So Melon Lemonade is a thing. One of the kids' books I'm reading has it. I mean, I feel like I've had something with a taste in it, but... you. You have to come up with a good name. So, Furious Night Fury says, I'm going to read this slowly. Melomenomade. Melomenomade. Man, that is such a t fucking tongue killer. Can you help me beat him? Who do you think I am? Mr. Miyagi? Oh, please. With sugar and cream and a cherry on top? Well... All right, then. 
I have a you radical idea how to Revolution. level the playing field. Literal playing field. But you won't like it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Electroshock therapy. Yep. Yep. What? That's a zap. We'll give you electroshocks so that you can predict <laughs> things as well. More I'm lightning. Not sure. <laughs> we can meet at the electroshock therapy chair and off we'll go. I'd need a better coat hanger. I was wondering though. if that was a coat hanger you were The holding. inspector won't let me ride the laundry lift with this one anymore. What do you think? I'm really not sure if I'd like that. Do Take it, your do time it, do it. And think about all, it. All the when shopping. you're ready, just bring me a better coat hanger. <laughs> Lack of sleep, drunken, um, drunken, and Edna and Harvey seem like a good. Yep. Yeah, I I'm glad that my sleep deprivation is a good combo with Edna and Harvey. It probably makes it more entertaining. All right, shock treatment. I've made a decision. Shocky, I want shocky, the shock shocky, treatment. Shock. Brave child, get me a better coat hanger, and off we'll go. Furious knife fury. That is an assault on my eyes. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Okay, um, yeah, Pokey does like to zap, apparently. Pokey likes just to... There's so many things that I can tell he likes. Now that I've played, like, so many games from him, I'm just starting to pick up on his penchants. It's so much fun. Do you know a way out of here? Outside and inside are just two aspects of the same circumstance. Like the two sides of a coin. Point. Neither be inside nor outside, mm. Edna. Just be. Mm, I'm not sure how to do that with the coin toss. Yeah, that's like sea anemone. Sea anemones, except it's with lemonade. Your coat hanger tells you all that. Your coat hanger tells you all that? Why no? It serves as an aerial to pick up cosmic oscillations. Plus, I'm keeping it handy just in case. Can I go up an to the aluminum roof? Is that suit where I get is very zapped? prone to wrinkling, you know. <laughs> an aluminum suit would be prone to wrinkling. Can I have the coat hanger? Normally, I despise the concept of I material love this guy. possessions, He's such but a the character. coat hanger is essential to me, I'm afraid. For one thing, He's it is my aerial that connects me to the ethereal realm. I'm things. also keeping it handy just in case. An aluminum suit is very prone to wrinkling, you know. All right. I have to get a move on. Take care of your karma. Okay. So that was interesting. So I can go either that way or that way. Let's go to the telephone. At the left one. This sign couldn't be much less subtle, I'd say. No, I don't want to be responsible if nobody can find the phone anymore. Hello, sign. Do you can have I anything to say to me? Turn to your right to reach the phone. Thank you, my friendly sign. I'm using this sign for orientation. The phone is to the right. Look, Harvey, a sign. How could I miss it? It's obvious, I know. I just wanted to point your attention to it. I don't much appreciate the pompous tone in your voice. Oh, come on, Harvey. Cool your jets, will ya? I just wanted to... What's with the jets now? If I knew anything about secret government programs, wouldn't I try to appear as inconspicuous as I can? What? But you do appear quite inconspicuous. Uh -huh. There could be many reasons for that. Okay, I like what's interesting about the pictures is they're all about being jailed and kept in. That's very intentional. Poetic and depressing at the same time. Picturas. I'd rather leave it there. The artist seems to have had a hard life already. Without someone running around and stealing his art. Talk to me, oh art. Hello, Edna. This is the art speaking. How art thou, art? Your state of the art inquiry pleases me. I'd rather leave it there. The artist seems to have had a without someone. All right. 
Whoa! I really like Pokey that. Pokey is against art theft. Yeah, me too, little buddy. <gasps> Let's give the face a mustache. Come on, Harvey. Oh my gosh, and that reminded me of that part at the very end where Rufus and Gore were like, yeah, we drew beards on Bozo's family. There was surprisingly little we could draw, but I love the fact that the two of them got together and just decided to ruin Bozo's family album by drawing beards. Like, those two got in trouble together. I'm sorry, but it's so adorable. Furious uh, Night Fury, I don't understand modern art. I love all sorts of art. I just... The more that you reflect upon it, the more variety becomes fascinating and revelatory and allows you to think through deeper concepts. I just, mmm, all the art. Give me all the art. A lamp. Lamp. La 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 lamp. Okay. Hey, wait a second. The lamp is connected to a wall plug by a cable. Now that's clever. Because that way, nobody can steal it. You can just take the fucking plug out. Oh, genie in the lamp. Grant me one wish. I'm listening. Prevent the player from searching all items for hidden jokes. Your wish would normally be my command, but the designers already asked the opposite. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Tokyo, perfect. Art is good, all art, even art I hate. Exactly. There is a purpose and a place and a psychological experience with every single piece of art. It's bright enough in here. What do you think of this lamp, Harvey? It is an instrument of the light. Like me. What? No, I'm an not. instrument of light, too. For example, the light ordered me to eat moths recently. Oh, dear. I still can't believe that old trick with the flashlight really worked! Alright, payphone. Oh my fucking hell, guys. Do you know what I need the- Do you want to know what they need the coin for? The guy has a coin. The guy has a fucking coin that is on the end of a ribbon. Which means that I can do the payphone trick of sticking the coin in and pulling it out. And getting- I can use the phone that way. That's- That's what I need the stupid king's coin for to use the phone and to use it as many times as I need. That's what I need. A payphone. Because Pokey Finally, likes to use those old cliches. I can cliches. call my lawyer. If only I could remember his ah. number. Eh, doesn't matter. It's broken anyway. Oh, the receiver's the receiver's missing because of the other dude. Damn it, I have to get the dude with the... Okay. The pieces are starting to come together, but I do not have the starting point yet. Firmly attached to the wall, but that doesn't really matter. It's broken anyway. The receiver's missing. Not a chance. It's broken. The receiver's missing. All right. Dang. Look, Harvey, uh... Yes, yes, a payphone! You don't have to show me absolutely everything. I have eyes too, you know? You do, but they're only sewn on. Alright, another sofa, which also has all of its cushions missing. Somebody has swiped all the cushions from this sofa. The puzzles run deep. Yep. Too late. Obviously, someone has already pilfered the cushions. But el what else would we expect from Dedalic Entertainment? Furious Night Fury, you like Harvey BT dubs? Harvey is cute. I like Edna the best of the pair, but you have to make them the pair. All right, so we do that. There's another lamp. Hello, lamp. This is a lamp. It's not exactly a flashlight. Let there be light. It won't get any lighter, okay? Hmm, broken. But why is it so light in here then? Must be the graphic card. What do you think of this lamp, Harvey? It is an instrument of the light. Like me. What? I'm an insta for example. <laughs> Walk to door. Oh my gosh, we have the world's worst supervision in this building! 
<laughs> we have the worst supervision in this fucking building fucking ever. Oh my gosh. We could just fucking go anywhere. Although maybe this is just a lower security thing since lots of people are together and we can all wander in and out just so long as we're in that section and don't go out the other way. Yeah, so many rooms indeed. I'm assuming there's gonna be more humans in here and here. It's interesting that Edna was by herself and the other people weren't, which means Edna is the biggest problem case, which makes sense given the way that everybody interacts with her, you know, all of her captors. It's interesting that there are actually other people all in this location, which makes it seem more legitimate. Um, I was wondering for a second if Edna was the only patient, in which case it was just a literal trapped situation. Granted, I'm not sure that all these people are here in the best situation either, but it is still interesting in that Edna is not the only case here. Staff. Okay, I was not expecting this, but here we are. Uh, you need to use the restroom and... Okay, this is the laundry person. Is, are you Petra? This poster informs readers about the proper use of the laundry lift. All right, it doesn't say lift. anything about its practical use as a means of public transportation, okay. though. So we can go up here and that's normal for this group of people. Okay. You're gonna play Splatoon, sounds good. And you'll be listening. Whoops. Help! Murder! Talk to these the regulations don't apply anymore. I don't think these regulations apply anymore. Okay, so... Let's see what the poor passenger is doing. I... He seems to be a little nervous, doesn't he? <laughs> he seems to be a little nervous, doesn't he? No! No fish killing fury! Hi there! <laughs> Poor dude. <laughs> he seems to be a little nervous, doesn't he? Can I scare you with other things? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's that same voice actor who's um, Babbitt, isn't it? Okay, let's talk to the ticket inspector at least. Heavens no! A control freak! Definitely not in my weight class. Hi there! Tickets, please! Tickets. Beautiful. Tickets? I don't even see a train! That's because there is no train. So what do I need a ticket for? It doesn't make sense. Hold your horses! The ticket is for the laundry lift system. Of course. The laundry lift goes through the whole house. There are stops in the basement, on the second floor, and here, on the first floor. I want to buy a ticket, please. <laughs> That's a good one. Tickets are highly sought after items in this house. There are only a handful available. And you'll be getting one only after hell freezes over. So how do I get a ticket? This is completely illogical. The system is airtight. <laughs> I made it myself. And it's foolproof. I love the illogic that So there that simply Pokey must be a story. way to get a ticket. There is. All contingencies have been accounted for. Everybody gets a ride when it's their turn. But there isn't even a waiting line. Wouldn't it make sense to go and look for it then? Instead of standing around here and blocking the line? Whose turn is it next? Number uh, two will be next. And who is number two? You better ask them that yourself. I'm uh, not giving any information about passengers. You are not helpful. Who is in possession of a ticket, if you don't mind telling me? Huh. There are lots of tickets in circulation. Mr. Frock has one. Mr. He Frock. holds a season ticket, and he's our most frequent a customer. season ticket? Which Are you means fucking kidding? he lives in the laundry lift. Professor Nock has another ticket, meaning the ones found on the ground floor. Alaman has the third Alaman ticket. Alaman has a ticket. I'm uh, considering withdrawing it. He doesn't use it according to the rules. Okay. And who else owns a ticket? You said there are many tickets circulating. Yes, uh, why? Uh, isn't that a lot? Oh gosh, okay. 
Your system is totally illogical. Pinky, pinky, pinky. <laughs> the system is as airtight as a submarine. It's always the next person in line who's up. But it's my turn now. In that case, it should be easy to show me your ticket. Is there any way that someone besides the three people you mentioned can use the laundry lift? I mean, what about, say, <laughs> ticket so number four? Illogical. Don't give me this modern mumbo jumbo. We used the good old traditional numbers here. One, two, and One, three. Oh, I got it. Two, and, uh, well, well, the third one. The, third the one, one which is neither one nor two. Well, there are some languages in which um, the only words for numbers are one, two, and many. There's a famous language down in the Amazon forest region that the words are basically um, few and many, and that's their counting system in the language. <laughs> Jaya, and they're commenting on a logic that's rich. <laughs> this is my old buddy, Harvey. What do you think of this guy, Harvey? A control freak who looks like he can only count to two. This ought to be fun. So even if I get Alaman's ticket, since it's a three, I doubt that'll help me. Hi there. Tickets, please. What's the problem with that nervous guy in the corner over there? And don't pay attention to him. I've been yelling at him to stop being so nervous all the time. Yeah, that's gonna help. But do you think he'll listen to me? Yeah, I wonder why you're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here's the logic. See, Edna's got some logic. Maybe the man would be less nervous if you stopped yelling at him. What? You mean he acts like that because of me? Now that is... Hey, you! You'd better act as if I wasn't here. Otherwise, I'll come over there, and then it's ass whooping time. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Hi there. Tickets, please. <laughs> Tokyo, there's only three numbers. Everything else is fake. The first thing that popped into my head was, huzzah, good things come in threes. Do you know how I can get out of here? The exit is situated at the front of the ticket punching area. No, I mean all the way out. Yes, I understood. Oh, that. yeah, both of you guys you are right. You use the back door there. The door at the front of the ticket punching area. But I mean even further out. This guy's entire brain is tickets. When you walk through that door, you're all the way out. Nothing beyond that door belongs to the laundry room system. <laughs> right. But suppose I want to go even further Yeah, this than guy's that. brain is just ah, a couple laundry. It's amazing. You're talking about like the guy. cafeteria, right? I give up. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Jaya, accurate anxiety rep. And Tokyo says also accurate rep for how people tend to deal with it who don't get it. Unfortunately, yeah, people are really bad at knowing how to handle it. And basically are like, you stop doing that. And everybody's like, that's not I'll how it works. Then. Please keep the ticket control area clear for the others while you're at it. Here's my comic book. That's a ticket, right? What's that supposed to be? My ticket for the laundry lift? But it's not. I wish. Okay. Stop! Not so fast, sweetie. I need to see your ticket first. I'm gonna try to get Alman's ticket. I highly, highly doubt that's gonna get me anywhere, but I will try. Walk to door. Go through door. Hey, Alu man, my buddy, old buddy, old pal. Hey, Alu. Hello, Edna. What brings you here? The fact that only half time? of his mustache moves bothers me. <laughs> I have one more fire. Okay. Let's talk. Can I have normal? But the one I'm also an alu. I can't I ask him about care. the darn, darn. I'm unhappy. I can't ask him about that. Hey, Drago Jug, want to see my toenail? I better not show that to him. I don't want him thinking poorly of me. Drago Jug. Mmm, yummy. 
and this exquisite hissing that accompanies the dissolving of dental enamel. I already used that. No, 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 no. And use the cornflakes with Drogal Jug. Okay, it doesn't let me use it with any other people. Sad. Did the game hang on me? Was I pushing that fast that the game hung on me? Crap, and I haven't saved in a while. Oh dear. Um. Well, let's just open up Steam and see. Just charge back to where I was. Oops. This is a reminder to save more. <laughs> Yeah, I love that she genuinely thinks Joggle Jug is the handsomest man on the planet. It is sort of entertaining. Yep, okay. Um, so we'll just go back, because I didn't grab anything except for the water. So I'll just get the water and then um, go back down to where I was. We won't have lost that much progress. This one is as soaked in- and I bet- Okay. Yeah, we did wipe. Oh. Or, Fury, are you talking about yourself? Oh, right! Thanks! Thanks, Tokyo! Get the cereal. That's right, I had cereal. It's a cool I bet Okay. So I'm actually gonna explore another area since I had this mistake. But I'll go back to where I was shortly. But there was that one passageway that I actually didn't go through. There's lots of areas I haven't explored, so we'll do that first. Is that a shocky chair? Is this where my mind gets wiped? It makes me a little uneasy. This is where my mind gets I'll wiped. I'll wait isn't for it? the mobile version. I bet it even plays MP3s. Oh, thank you for the F for the game crash, Fury. Do you have one last wish, Django? I'd rather not be electrocuted if that's not asking too much. Hmm. Wouldn't you rather have some Pokemon collector's cards? This is not a piece of furniture. It's Dr. Yep, Marcel's yep, brain yep, liquefier. Yep, I was right. I was right. I was right. What do you make of this, Harvey? This must be the captain's chair. All right, Mr. Harbach. Harbach energize. energize. Hmm. Energy. Hmm. So I looked at the helmet. The Damocles sword yeah, of Yeah, it is a little creepy, isn't it, Jaya? There are some hats I simply cannot wear. Yes, yes, the rabbit does stalk HC, and hello again, welcome back. How's the family, Helmut? Well, my cousin is in construction, and my brother joins the army. It's just me who's a bit of a slacker. That works differently than a regular hat. I don't know how, but I don't want to find out. I'll see if I can grab anything from the wall. It does not look like so. What do you make of this, Harvey? I don't think it would suit me. Look at the controls. Looks complicated. They're firmly attached. I'd like one Coke, a maxi cheese, hold the pickles, and a single serving of used oil fries. I'd need help from someone who knows his way around these things. Mr. Aluman, baby? What do you make of this, Harvey? We don't need that. We have everything under control. And then there's a lever. Pull the lever, this Kronk! This one controls the electric chair. It doesn't work that way. Activate. Activate! Hmm. Obviously, it doesn't work that way. Maybe I need an expert. See, all the hints are saying I need an expert, so I need 
my buddy. I need Alo Man. The game's also just I better leave that to an yep. expert. She's just constantly talking about an expert. <laughs> I see who wants McDonald's. I mean, I'm getting hungry now. I do have chips. I could get chips. That would at least satiate some cravings. Yeah, cause see this guy's holding the phone. Oh, it's broken. That's the cord. So I need to somehow get that cord so that I can fix it to the, use the phone that I need in the other room. Okay. See, everything's just starting to start to click. So this was the room that I hadn't looked at before was this hallway back here. Actually, um, all of this stuff back here was what I hadn't looked at before I got captured. Door, lock, more stairs. Dear Thor in a bucket, there's so much to look at here. Kitchen. Damn it, we talked about food and then we entered a fucking kitchen. That does it. I'm getting myself chips. I swear, I actually conscientiously tell myself I'm not going to eat food during this stream. In every single fucking stream, I have, like, five meals, like, you know, a five-course meal and a dessert and every bloody fucking thing else. I guess you guys just constantly see me eat. I'm sorry. <laughs> food! Food is here. Just some chips. Look at the pot. It's a ah, hat. Today it's free choice day. The whole house is full of the smell of it already. A bit bulky, don't you think? I can't talk to it. It's not really bite-sized now, is it? HC, I'm glad that's fine with you. Also, how bad is my crunching hitting the microphone? I've noticed that this mic is very good at blocking out unnecessary noises, but with chips, I'm sure I'm loud enough to be heard. I'll cook my special little soup. Do you see this pot, Harvey? Forget about the pot! We have our own thing cooking! Cut the re cupboard. <gasps> Can I get a knife? This is where the cutlery is usually kept. Shouldn't we first look to see what's in there? Hello? Anybody home? Hmm. It's rattling. It's clinking. It's in a cutlery cupboard. Give me what a knife. Give me knives. I know. It is an avalanche of shrapnel from the Andes. You have to watch out for those. Oh, great balls of fire. There's cutlery in there. Let's see. Now, what if we hear a knife and a fork? This series of surprises just keeps on coming. Give me What's the this? knife. Not one spoon? Give me the knife. Where the heck are the spoons? Why are you caring about the spoons? I want a knife. <gasps> I have a knife, guys. I have a knife. Awesome. Okay, this is great. I am now armed. I prefer eating with my fingers. All right. Walk to menu. Niffy. Today is free choice day. 
Obviously, the chosen meals are arranged according to the seats. The order hasn't been made yet. HC, once this is on YouTube, I'm making gifts with Haddock. Am I that entertaining? Also, YouTube has been a pain in the patootie to me. Um, I've been recording these streams at 1440 by 8 something for resolution. So I'm like, I'm above 1080. And yet YouTube has been like, oh no, it's only 720 resolution. I'm like, no, I recorded this at a very high thing. And I don't know why YouTube is downgrading my resolution. And it's driving me batshit. So my last three videos, for whatever reason, have been uploaded to YouTube at lower qualities than I actually recorded and downloaded them at. So I need to figure out what's going on. So hopefully this latest stream I can upload at its full resolution. Yeah, Furious, I know that um, you don't like chewing and I know why. Um, if you do hear it, just let me know and I'll stop. That is not a problem. Okay. Towels. Always get a towel. Always bring towels. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Towel schmowls. No, no, no. Pick up the towel. Always use a towel. Always have a towel on you. What's this? They've been secured to the background graphics. What's next? I've made it a principle not to talk to towels. Unless they're made out of terry cloth. <laughs> Tarunia's back. Hello again. I haven't switched to Droggle Jug, Tarun. You're you're safe. No, my hands aren't really dirty enough right now. Okay, pot holder. Deadpool called, he said to give him the fourth ball back. Asbestos coated potholders. All right, I got potholders. The potholders are covering their ears. Interesting. Tear, I'm sorry, you're still at work. So this is where the juice gets extracted from the cafeteria's veggies. My preliminary analysis says, if I take that with me, it will cease to function. Hey, you creatures of the wet elements. Anybody home? Neptune? Nemo? Nemo. Captain Crunch? Captain Crunch. <laughs> All right, Spiffy. Yeah, Tyr, especially recently, your work has been really mean to you. Burning that customer to the ground? That, yeah, I don't blame you. I highly doubt I can use a knife to pick a lock. Mm -hmm. Dag nabbit, I'm too clumsy. I guess I'm stuck here without a key. I'll have to learn how to lock fix sometime during this game, obviously. There's way too many locks. Okay, that was the wrong direction. Down the stairs. Dr. Marcel. Nice art. Okay, so it's just the- oh, there's a message board. Just your usual bring your spoons back to the cafeteria announcement. Because I'm missing them now. In my house, the thing I always lose is I cannot have enough forks. I lose my forks fucking everywhere. So the fact that I actually have one in front of me is a minor miracle, and I'm not joking. I don't need a bulletin board. That's not how it works. The bulletin board is a written word medium. I don't want to announce anything. Look, Harvey, a bulletin board. Yippee! This is my third favorite kind of board. Right after the entertainment software rating board and the Ouija board. Door. Okay. 
dear fucking... Wait! That's the laundry lift system! The laundry lift system! Haha, <laughs> HC, that's a great pun. Are you forking serious? Oh, we got a little special animation of Edna walking down. That's adorbs. Just more of those uninteresting laundry bags. Too heavy, too large, not interesting enough. Hello? Anybody in there? This is just dirty laundry. My entire room is dirty laundry. I tried to shove it out of the way so that you guys couldn't see it. Washing machines. Those are pretty Do big washing machines. It's not wash day today. Oh yeah, that's a good point, Jai. If there was a coat hanger, that'd be really useful. No, I don't like dirty talk. It's not wash day today. Yo, Edna, your little friend is mighty dirty, ain't he? You think? Give him to me so that I can clean him up. I'll make him water than snow. <coughs> Don't, Edna! It's a trap! You're getting reminded of SpongeBob. How can I get back up there again? How can I get back up there again? Hmm. How can I get back up there so again? So I'll have to figure out... Is there some sort of thing in my inventory I can use to straddle the cross and just sort of... fly over? My mallet has to be neither laundered nor lifted. Fine. Why not have the washing machine sound like that? <gasps> I liked how she just walked. That was cute. There's some cute animations in this. Whoa, bloody fucking hell. I am in a huge location. I'm glad I ran into those humans when I did, though. I got to talk to people. A compact file cabinet for suspension folders. I'm trying to escape, not move house. How's it hanging, suspension folders? Ha 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 ha. How's it hanging, suspension? Okay. Shall we play file switching, Harvey? Oh, we used to play that a lot. But I don't think it'd be as much fun without Alfred and a lawnmower. Okay, there's a postcard, a note, and a light switch. Hmm. A postcard from Vladvakistan. Look here. The foreign minister postmarked the stamp with his own incisors. It doesn't have my address on it. Jaya, starting to crash energy-wise, but if I fall asleep, can include wink through. Um, it's fine. Um, don't worry about a walkthrough. If I get stuck, I'm just gonna, um, call it a night. How's it hanging? And I'm not stuck. I'm nowhere close How's to stuck. How's the weather in Vladvakistan? Meteorologically ambivalent. Postcards are pretty useless. I got a postcard today from a friend. That was exciting. This says, the moon falls down to Earth. That's a bit worrying. I don't want to collect that. It's because it says, the moon falls down to Earth. That's a message better left down here in the basement. What does this mean? The moon falls... Who would write... Isn't there a handbook for that? This says, the moon... That's a bit... So you don't like that? Can I change it with the pen? This wouldn't change the message one bit. Darn. I might be wrong, but I think this controls the neon lamps. This is not a remote control, it's a light switch. With cable and everything. Howdy switch, you little bit of... little bit of technology. Whoa. Damn, that is extremely dark. Yikes. Holy fucking shit, I am turning that back on! <laughs> Good idea! Yikes. 
Are all these patient mm, thank histories? You, thank you, the Furious, for not killing me. The whole must have gone crazy. Though I wouldn't mind you visiting. I'd need to know what I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm not going to get anywhere with that yet. Um, there's that door. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Jaya. It's going to come in handy later. Holy bloody fucking shit, there's even more to explore. You know what? I'm going back just to where I was, and I'll explore this later. Because that is a whole bloody fucking ton of exploring. Dang! Ah, and she walked up the stairs. That looked cute. I love special animations. Okay. And you get to see her legs going through that. So y'all's remind me that I haven't looked at some of the stuff back here. I haven't gone back here yet. Um, I'm just going straight to here. Because yeah, Tokyo, there are so many freaking rooms. Uh oh. Hey, I'm just gonna start it's with here. prohibited to pass through here. Um. Can't you see I'm the newbie? Always the same witty remarks, Miss Edna. Maybe the doctor should be blah, less blah, thorough. Blah, blah, you all blah, blah. I've seen you, you have say to that. Just uh, you know. What's going on? What do you think? Where are all these? Isn't that something you should? I don't know what else. It's obvious. It's just. <sighs> all right. Blah 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 blah. And here we fucking go. Okay. Um. And yes, save. I shall do a save of doom. Save. Save in slot four. Hi. And hello again. I'll just go in here fast to get the struggle jug. A struggle jug is. But I need to be me. granted an audience with the king. Struggle jug. All right, I can see that. I'll have to earn a little respect. <laughs> HD, this is the biggest asylum since Arkham Asylum. No bloody kidding. It's huge. Oh, what so talking to Droggle Jug. Drug. Am I not drug? But I need to be. Okay. I don't remember what I used to. I've got a. To. It's a drug. I see. Druggle Jug. In that. Druggle. Wow. I should have known. I don't know what I did to impress him, but isn't. Druggle Jug. Okay. I don't remember what I did. <laughs> and everyone's going Druggle Jug again. Oh, what's the badge, isn't it? Hold it, Sergeant. Struggle. Of course. Struggle. You struggle. Cool. Okay, so it's the badge. Okay. Where? Um, what's up? What? 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 When okay. will this if I want to look at this again for just once again, I will um, just rewatch my stream. When will this okay. I There's no it's all vidlo. I will add head that ducky head. ducky 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 heads ducky 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 ducky, ducky duck. I want to head. tails. I might actually look at this one again because I have a feeling this is a good Why hit. must I always lose? All Do the not jokes. blame yourself. There was a time when I too had to end. I tell nobody. I went out on the. There was. The I opened and my umbrella feet were immersed, immersed in buckets of in water. Bucket. When I note immediately. TV antenna. What I remember. What ex. But. So I need bucket of water. Um. Hanger, antenna. Or just the chair. One of well, those two things. Well, I'll be gone then. Cheerio! Haha, <laughs> Furious Night Fury, I recognize that Undertale quote. Hello. Hello, young lady. Wait there, you're. You are awesome, but I cannot I'm talk to you, you again. What? what? Who are you? What is it? What? Where are you? The whole. Why are you. This and that. And it what? Who lives in the. What? In what is Can you we'll give we what I'm what I've made forget Okay Ah It freaked out on me again but that's okay cuz I just saved
so that's nope um, go to my load yep and that's why we do that Uh, Skippy sounds like banjo kazooie gibberish. It sort of does. All right, so I'm actually just gonna quickly um, put this show the Droggle Jug with um, that, and then I'm gonna call it actually basically a night. Hold it. For um, the logical brand to the F. Dro of Droggle Jug. You drug cool. For the night because um, it's actually midnight here, and so that means I've been streaming for actually a pretty long time now. Which means that I'm about, I'm feeling about done for playing Edna and Carby. Uh, does anybody want me to pull up another game? I know it's getting pretty late, so I'm imagining that most people, at least people in the um, Western Hemisphere, are ready to go sleep. <laughs> Tokyo says, I need rest. That's true, although I did get up at 2 p.m., so I'm still feeling pretty fresh and awake, all things considering. Not like that's a good thing to perpetuate terrible sleeping habits. But yeah. Okay, Jaya says um, you're probably going to turn in. Um, but if you want to keep playing another game, feel free. HC, you know I've got time. Yeah. Um, Tokyo, if you want to play more, I won't object. Awesome, awesome. So, um, who are the people who wanted to suffer through Droggle Jug? Um, I know... Um, Tokyo was one of the people who wanted Droggle Jug, and I think Tira was one of the people who wanted Droggle Jug, and Furious and Jaya were like, no, please, no. So, um... Yeah, <laughs> HC, Droggle Jug! Yep. <laughs> Furious, you're gonna continue Salmon Run anyway? Alright. So, I mean, that would be the other option, is I just switched to Droggle Jug, which would probably take me about an hour. Um... And I would be fine doing Droggle Jug uh, <laughs> at that time of night. I'd feel bad if um, Tyrnia wants to um, watch and I would skip if I ended up accidentally skipping him. But um, in the past, he has told me that um, his work schedule is so hit and miss that it's hard to really coordinate with him. And I can usually do the go ahead even if he can't come. Uh, in which case, I could just do Droggle Jug just to, um, just to have fun. And Jaya says, drog the jug. All right, so I'm, looks like I'm getting a green light from you alls about doing a droggle jug. Um, in which case, I might as well just even start droggle jug and see how long we go before our brains just all fucking die. Okay. Um, in which case, I'm going to stop this stream and set up for um, Deponia and we can get ahead on droggle jug. Sound good for you guys? Um, the setup will only take me like five minutes. It really won't take me long at all to just set up Deponia for that. So yes, I will do Droggle Jug. Uh, to Tokyo says, do we all only have to say Droggle Jug too? No, say whatever you want. I'll just be the Droggle Jugger. That's a word now. I'll be the Droggle Jugger. <laughs> I'll Droggle Jug. You know, I'll be I'll Droggle Jugging. I'll I'll be Droggle Jugging. Droggle jug, droggle jug. I don't know. Um, this will be very difficult to do. <laughs> okay, sleep well, Jaya. Thank you so much for coming to the stream with Edna and Harvey. Thanks to all of you guys for um, playing with me. I've been having a lot of fun with this, and I'm really looking forward to exploring this area more with more people because there's even more rooms that I have yet to explore. I'll get this up onto YouTube, hopefully at full quality this time. And um, yeah, I'll keep you updated with further streams. Next Tuesday, next Tuesday, um, I might have a guest at home, in which case I won't be available, but um, Tuesdays are going to be the evenings where I do my Night in the Woods streams. So just keeping that reminded for people who want to see Night in the Woods is those are going to be Tuesday evenings. All right, anyway, I'm setting up for Juggle Jug. I can't believe I'm actually going to stream fucking Juggle Jug. I love you guys. You guys enable me way too much. You guys enable me way too much. <laughs>